This is Twit. Someone alerted me to a thread on Twitter where somebody had it's it's the story sort of goes layers deep because it's a thread on Twitter where they posted a video from TikTok of somebody explaining this shortcut. But this originated on Reddit actually last fall and had even gotten picked up by like CNN. Of It's a shortcut to use if you happen to be detained by the police and you want to basically let your family or trusted contacts know that something is happening and also to record the video to just sort of like that's been a major trend throughout this weekend is video showing what's happened really brings like truth to people's eyes because you can't deny what you're seeing in front of you. And so this is a really good way of the shortcut will first, um, when you add it, it will ask you to add a contact that will be messaged. And then when you run the shortcut, it will send a message to the person basically saying I'm being arrested or detained or you can change the message if you want. Um, but it sends that message first so that pretty much like immediately somebody in your family or somebody knows what's happening. So it's not just like you didn't come back from a protest or something like that. Um, but then it also then uses the camera to take a video using the front facing or rear facing camera, depending on what you set. Um, one of the downsides is that you do have to tap done and then use a video before it gets sent. And so that's sort of why it, um, splits out the message first so that you're not like, waiting to send to record the video and then send it afterwards. Um, but basically then it's, uh, I actually like, I tweeted out my own versions too, because I changed them slightly as I like learn more stuff of, um, you can, you need to save the video to your device first. If you just use the take video action, it might not actually fully save. So that was like the first improvement that I made on the video that I saw. And then, um, the other one was in order to get your current GPS location and send it to somebody. And there's uh, two tricks, too, that you could use there where if you use... Part of the problem is that if you use get my current location in shortcuts, it makes a brand new GPS call, and that can take like a couple of seconds, maybe. Um, or I mean, it goes really slow on iPads. I assume nobody's out there protesting <laughs> with an iPad. Um, <laughs> that would just be ridiculous. Um but then um, there's a trick that I saw on online where if you get the current weather and then you get the location from the weather action, it basically does the exact same effect, but immediately, just because your phone is like regularly pinging for weather. Um, I don't know if it's exact, like where you are, it might use one of the last locations. So that's not as reliable, but you can go either route depending on basically your priority if you like think you won't have service at all, like send it as fast as possible sort of thing. Um, but then basically you can send your GPS location to a trusted contact as well. So it's like, here's where this happened. Um, and even just like a note about making types of tools like this and people like me who are white who are trying to make a difference, I think a big thing is like, do something anyways. And if you make a mistake, remove it and continue forward. Like I made another version of the shortcut where there's a whole lot of like unrest around the protests and it's like, Oh, make sure to like report people. And then people were like, you suck. And I was like, oh, okay, I'm going to take this down. This is not okay. Like use mm -hmm. those tools for good. And also if you do make a mistake, remove it and say something and then continue forward. Like, I think that, saying something is much more important than potentially making one mistake. And even as a person who, like, who has that privilege, it's like I can make that mistake and it's fine and it's not going to end my career or something like that. So I think that's another thing too is putting your voice out there when you are not necessarily like sure about it is more important and even less risk for you. Um, so that was one of the reasons I want to like share these types of things is because since this, this actually went viral, like the person who was tweeting it was already going viral. And then I think like 5,000 people have downloaded the shortcut so far or one of the versions I made, um, which at least makes me feel better that maybe some people who are out there protest protesting were able to stay in contact with their family. Um, and like uh, Lifehacker actually picked it up today, which is cool. So they <laughs> picked up one of my articles last year and have sent me the most traffic I've ever gotten since then. So... <laughs> Thanks, Life Hacker. That's always appreciated, but it is good because <laughs> it's like, I think what was cool about this is um, even though it ended up reaching like potentially like 150,000 people, I think, 
a lot of those people were regular people and not people in my circles in the tech community. And so I was just like appreciative too that regular people find this stuff valuable and are like willing to use these types of things to protect themselves or like if they hear about it, which is always neat. Um, And a big thing too, if you are downloading shortcuts for the first time, you have to go through a whole process of toggling add untrusted shortcuts on in the settings and it won't even be available if you haven't run a shortcut yet, so you might have to get one from the gallery. But there's a lot of people. I'm glad I put those in the shortcuts too, because those like tons of people had to figure that out for the first time too. But and another, I guess the last step is you can add it to your home screen too. So a big part is that you're able to just like pull out your phone and tap one thing. It could be in the widgets section. You could run it from Siri also. Like I don't know about waiting for Siri to reply for something like this, but it's one tap to contact your family and document what's happening and then also send your location afterwards. So could be useful to people. Um, This becomes all the more useful to people as uh, the president has announced that if governors do not um, (laughs) get these protests under control, he will send in members of the military to do so. So, um, With that in mind, uh, I think it's all the more important to have these options to, in theory at least, protect yourself um, with evidence um, Mm -hmm. of of brutality in any way. Um, And I I like what you said, Matthew, that's something that I want to double down on. Um, The pride and fear of making a mistake out in the open, uh, outweighing your desire or ability to, to, to try and help out, um, that you choose to try and help out rather than letting your pride get in the way is, uh, a thing that I think is, is a good point to hammer home and encourage. And, um, I feel that you have done so in a way that does not uh, does not drown out black voices and does not you know s- step on anyone. And so I appreciate that, and I appreciate the messages that you uh, the the tools that you've made available.